every Hall of Famer was warm, very warm, greeted everyone. I know a lot of them extremely well. But they were, the first thing they said is, we're proud you're now part of the family, finally part of the family. And I heard that over and over and over. Jimmy Rice, who I know, I mean, I know a lot of them very well, I've known them a lot for a long time, but, yeah, it's, um, in a great sense, I feel like I'm home. Presided over an era of vast change to the game on the field while extending its breadth and depth off of it. To Commissioner Rob Manfred, my friend, my associate, for these past 27 years, I thank you. I thank you for your wise counsel and for the great work that you did to help baseball reach the heights. And finally, to these Hall of Famers, I am honored to be in your presence. On your shoulders, this game became part of the fabric of our country and we are forever indebted to you. As a kid, I read the newspapers, studied box scores, memorized statistics, dreamed the dreams of little boys. And on my last night as commissioner, I gave a speech at the New York Baseball Writers Dinner. And I said, just really off the top of my head at the end, what you've seen here today are a little boy's dream. Came true. Thank you for this magnificent honor. I wanted in a short period of time to really illustrate what had gone on for the last 22 or 23 years. And uh, I hope I did that. And, uh, but it was a, you know, I keep using the word, but, but I would say this to you, it's overwhelming. I said to John last December, we were sitting in Washington after we had been um, nominated and obviously going to be elected. Uh, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Ted Williams, Stan Musial, and you and me. Wow. <laughs>